Two teams used to facing off in the distance derby meet on middle ground at beautiful Bankwest Stadium as both clubs settle into hub life in New South Wales. It's two top six teams head to head against the Knicks. He's scored in his past six games against them. Here he is again looking to turn provider, sliding Ingham in and Devere read that brilliantly to keep it away from Popovich in the middle. Oh, what about that from Hooper? What oh, stunning back heel. Well, Hooper using his body just brilliantly. And to bounce off and give the space, but then the Monchelin, you know, gives it the Zika at the back door. A personal challenge to add to everything else that they've had to deal with at the moment. I mean, in these circumstances, the players. McCowan lifts one over the top, and Hooper is interested. Can he get goal side of Grant? He can. Gary Hooper. Scores and Wellington in a flash take the lead. A foot race between two players not noted for their speed. Hooper won out, latched onto the long ball, and the Knicks are on top. Well, it's a turnover, and it's McCowan who's been outstanding. Really caught the eye, who wins the ball and then over the top. For Neroli, neat skill, trickery, and the shot is palmed aside by Marinovic. A metre or so either side breaks the way of the Mexican maestro. Oh, ball wins the penalty. Naive defending from the halftime substitute, Jacob Trad, who has no complaints towards the referee. How well did Ball earn that? He's a perfect four from four from the spot this season, but Liam Reddy keen to make amends for Trad. Can't keep it out of the bottom corner. And Ulysses Davila, a half-time substitute, has scored within three minutes of coming on for Gary Hooper. Perth are in a hole. Wellington are in control. They're 2-0 up. Well, Kenny bends it around way towards that penalty spot. Kept out by Marinovic. Marinovic took a risk, didn't he, with that goalkeeping Mark Bosnich. Benton was making a run in behind. Devere. Kakachi. Oh, how clever is that? Aware that the ball would stay in for his teammate. So Nick D'Agostino, who his fitness and his work on that front during uh, lockdown was given a bit of a lashing by Tony Popovich. It's a chance to make a difference in the final half hour. Ingham bending it and in. Just like that from the corner routine. Perth find a way back into the contest. And Dane Ingham is a goal scorer in back-to-back -back games. The New Zealand international against the Knicks. Breathes life into this match for them. And Wellington were just looking so comfortable. Oh, Devlin took a risk. Here come Perth, a chance to equalise for Neroli. Showed too much of it to Marinovic with the trademark finish. For Neroli. Teammates and options. Bruno Fornaroli took it upon himself. And they got a leg in the road. The Knicks to deflect it out for a corner. Fires it into De Beer again. Trapped. Can he tease one? He can. Marinovic should claim and does. Grant appeals for a penalty after a coming together. Final 10 seconds of the four minutes, and they get a corner out of that. Well played, Josh Soterio. And we're at the referee's discretion now. I think they've done it. The Wellington Phoenix. How crucial will this win be in the final washer in about a month's time? Ulysses Dambilla scores what proves the winner from the penalty spot past Liam Reddy. But boy, did they hang on after Perth came surging.